so the uh, zombie hordes worked and now I'm just gonna go and check out some of the loot I heard these things are fucking everywhere that's what's kind of whenever you change the loot on the server you get you can get duplicates and stuff uh, but don't worry those those go away after a cycle or two unless there's something going on like in the files um, but I can't I'm not gonna wear that Boosted the zombie hordes, the wolves, the bears, and then added uh, custom event hordes. Uh, one that goes through the whole map from uh, Adamau down to Nadbor. Uh, there's 500 zombies along there. That's called the Hell's Highway or the Highway to Hell. Uh, and then. I put a horde, a super horde, at every cemetery on the map with uh, with a chance to spawn the mummy zombies. So another thing I did was CR sixty one. I better grab that. <laughs> So I also changed the loot, so the police stations have modded loot, and that's why I came here to check it out. We'll see how that turned out. What I did on my server here is I, I made the police stations have modded SWAT gear, which is just black, uh, black military gear, you know, field jacket, tacti tactical jacket, uh, black cargo pants, also the dark blue cargo pants. Um, as well as all the black variant rifles so there's actually some firepower and ammunition at the police stations another carnival mask <laughs> a few carnival masks. It's always something. For, for some reason, one item always like duplicates. It's usually the Colt. Um, after you mod files, the Colt pistol will just start appearing everywhere. I have no idea why. It's just one of those one of those things in Daisy. Daisy's loot economy. But it it always balances out when whenever you make an edit and unless you made an error uh, which s there's a few things that can make everything duplicate but generally when you make changes that's what I noticed is uh oh nice look at that yeah I noticed that there's always those um, duplicates I guess I better just take the ammo that I'm using rather than save ammo that I might need later. Let's see, actually, no, I got a lot of those. Oh, is that a tundra? Oh, ha <laughs> ha. Now I gotta get rid of another gun.
Maybe I can use up all this gun kit. Oh, hell. kind of a pain in the ass because to put it in your hands from inventory you press square but then to put put it in your hands from the ground you hold square so I keep I keep getting it backwards I don't know if that's the way it used to be before this wipe but that's what I keep trying to do finish cleaning up this police station and then time to head down to a military base I think Let's see. there we go it's a little closer to having enough room gotta get rid of my shovel but actually now is a good time to plant It's raining. Come oh, on, where's the grass? those planted I gotta stick around here loot around a little bit I'm gonna check out how the how the loot is spawning now where was I when I had that gear in my hand oh yes let's see grab my shotgun do I have my AK yep so yeah, you can see the police clothes have bullets. Also, the the military clothes also have like some some extra bullets in it because of the boosted zombie hordes. Um, you definitely need the extra ammo, and it's just PVE, so it's not like it's not like uh, we need it to be a challenge to get get a bunch of ammo and guns. Because I mean, a uh, kind of part of the fun I think with PVE is is going loud and killing the zombies. Because you don't have to really worry about somebody uh, sneaking up on you while you're shooting because they can hear you from the next town over and them coming up and getting you. Dang 
scorpions around. Score, score, score. Do I need any? No, no, I don't need any of those. Yeah, the police stations are like. Like that was the first things I wanted to uh, change when I bought my server was. I just, I just thought the police stations needed a little more cowbell. You know, it was missing a little something. I suppose, like in the apocalypse, yeah, the police stations would be like all raided first. You know, give me a little something for my trouble. Like this, like police would definitely have like plate carriers and stuff. SWAT teams, anyway. So what I did was like, I made, I added. Um, civilian clothes uh, just some some basic dress clothes and then some sheriff type gear for patrol officers and then I added a whole bunch of like special forces and SWAT gear most of it's in like black variant stuff like this black tundra and the black SK I got It's not, and it's not like overly, it's not over the top boosted, but it's, it's, it makes the police stations worth visiting. And it can help like early on, because you can run into some giant hordes early on. <laughs> that was loud. Oh yeah, Tuplin, I forgot, is the only one that's like reduced zombies. If you all played in Livonia, you know that uh, Tuplin has the most lag probably in uh, all of Livonia, so the zombies just help with the with the extra lag and as well as like so people when they're freezing they're not getting smacked up by you know four or five zombies one or two here and there but it's uh yeah this is the one of the only safe zones everywhere else is uh extremely boosted zombies and it's all based on performance like as much as as much zombies as the area can handle I'll put there but like yeah, certain areas they're laggy with no zombies so nothing you can do there and like if you're trying to create your own server the only way to really figure it out is testing and taking other people testing two people who are on different different systems and uh you know, because if you're on a PS, if you're on a PS5 and you're close to the to the server location, you're gonna have the best performance. So like, you need to bring someone from, you know, if you're on the west coast, bring someone from the east coast. Maybe you have another guy with a PS4. Uh, that way you you're getting some different feedback, like without people testing it. You have no idea if these areas are going to work. And if they don't work, you're going to kill people and it's they're going to be really pissed. And then they might quit the server because if it's not functional, then it, it's just too upsetting, right? We've all been there. And then you end up blaming the server or the server owner. And as a player, anyways. So like that's that's the main thing is like don't just put zombies all over the place like test you got to go and test them see if you can take them on by yourself if you're even able to sneak around them if it how the lag is because if you can't do it geared up how is some you know fresh bond gonna do it or you know what I mean someone new. when I get to the point where I gotta drop things to pick something up. But I do 
not have any storage at the moment. Yeah, I think I did put the airstrikes back as well. Maybe that's something I should do one day is like a little tutorial on how to add the uh, the cluster bombs or the airstrikes or the mortar strikes, the artillery strikes, whatever you want to call them. out some blood.
Oh, what the? Got no more room for any tetra. Somebody dropped their trousers there. Well, I think I'm ready to head down. Yo, what? Let's see, uh, fuck it. No bullets. Throwing it down, may as well use it and stay healthy. Is this thing ready to rock? Yeah, it is. Hmm. All right. Well, let's take this some bitch. Throw my shotgun in the tr no. Don't ever leave something behind. Trying to roll this thing down the hill. Even in neutral, it's like getting the flashing engine, that's kind of funny. Should let me roll down the hill. Whoa, 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 easy. I can't see a dang thing. Looks like I made some friends. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I can't see a damn thing. But you know what, I think this is the water well. Controls have really messed me up. Hey, <laughs> look at that right in front of the well.
There's a partner, he must be on the, uh, on the map. So what I'm going to do is cut it out here, and then uh, I'll meet up back with you guys when I uh, run into something more interesting. For now, I'm just going to be waiting out the night, and then heading down south to, uh, to a military base. And then I'm going to hit up a few of them zombie hordes just to show you what, what the server's like. Alright, we'll catch you dudes later.